Environmental degradation is obviously a huge issue with food production. We need to solve problems in our food chains that are causing deforestation, massive water usage, huge energy input to get relatively little energy output. What if the solution to such damage is found in thin air? I'm Oliver Truesdale. I launched a company with Lo and Behold called Regrowth, which is focused on sustainable hospitality. I also head up the F&B Sustainability Council in Singapore. And I'm Mirko Febrile, currently chef partner at Lo and Behold for FICO. All right, guys, so today we're doing a little bit of R&D, brand new protein called Solene. It's a microbial protein, so super high efficiency. Check it out. Also very colorful, which is kind of cool. Yeah, where's the color from? Carotenoids, beta, beta carotene. Same color as carrots, but uh, it's from the microbe itself, so an all natural source. Mm -hmm. mm. It's nutty and buttery, creamy. It's fatty, for sure, like nuts. Yeah. Mm. All right, so in terms of menu, what are we thinking? I think by tasting it, it it feels like it's, it's quite versatile, it seems like it. And if I think about butter, dairy, eggs, we can really work on replacing it. Thinking about maybe some local uh, twist to it? Yeah, Singapore inspired. Yeah. yeah. I think when you were talking about egg, I was like, oh, salted egg. Salted egg. Salted Ooh. egg could be really fun. And that's Absolutely. super Singaporean. So that we keep the idea that it's like protein replacement. Yeah. How about like a, a dessert? Um, Ice cream comes to mind for sure. Yes. Like I think, but I think doing it really pure, like having one course, because we're going to have courses where it's heavily manipulated. One course where it's just like pure. Yeah. Uh, I was also sorry. thinking about a pesto. Yeah. Like a, like a rempa, like with coconut milk, lime, yes. chili, yes. thick yeah. pasta, and then adapt it and change it to Singapore. Yeah, yeah. Um, I love it. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? With local herbs. Yeah. Yeah, sweet. All right. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, let's have some fun. Today we do a Singapore version of the Italian pesto. So we're going to use laksa leaves, Indian borage, basil of course, that's this beautiful bronze fennel. They're all herbs that are farmed here in Singapore. You know, I was thinking like the creaminess of it, what we do with lecithin, think about like a curry. We have a beautiful uh, emulsified paste. Okay, we're done. Singapore pesto. So now we can taste it. Wow. How fresh is that, right? I like the idea of a product that at once can be responsible and could find itself in situations where you're helping like disaster-stricken areas, but also could find a place at a fine dining table. Because there's not many products that like bridge those gaps. And so it'll be healthier for people, it'll be healthier for the planet. We're gonna play with it as a miso kind of allegory as well. So like maybe mixing it in miso soup and like half the percentage you would usually mix miso and see how that goes. The fact that it's easy to replicate that kind of concept, which is now in Finland, everywhere in the world basically, right? Yeah, it could be outside the world as well, right? Yeah. We were discussing it as like maybe space travel that required just like air and electricity to uh, generate nutrients. But also, yeah, deserts or really mountainous areas or places that don't have a lot of arable land, they'll still have access to the inputs needed to produce solene. The idea basically is to incorporate something that's really familiar for people locally, but introduce something that's completely foreign to everybody globally. First public tasting of Solene, which is really exciting. We get to see people's faces when they eat the food and like catch some reactions and see how people kind of feel about the category as a whole, which is really fun. D-Day time, it's go time.
Hello, everybody. I'm very happy to be here, and I'm very happy to see you all. My fellow ambassadors then asked me, can you explain a little bit more what that all is and how it's produced? You need thin air, you need <laughs> some electricity, then you need some wise scientists, and then it becomes magic. They have been satisfied with my explanation so far, but I'm very excited to be here. Thank you very much. One third of the global greenhouse gas emissions to human action is due to what we eat. How solar food differs is, so we are disconnecting food production from agriculture completely. We are going to make history by tasting Solene for the first time. I have to say I've tried a lot of different alternative proteins. This one being made out of air was quite incredible, actually. It sounded impossible. I was surprised that the protein didn't taste fabricated. It tasted really earthy, it tasted really natural. With the Solene, it's like, ooh, I'm enjoying eating this and it's really good for the planet. The next step for us is to really bring the product to be more widely available for consumers across the globe. Obviously, Singapore is the first market, but then we'll have bigger markets coming up, USA, European Union, United Kingdom. We're really working hard to bring the product to the stores near you. Overall, I see it very promising. This is some uh, sort of a paradigm shift going on in the, in the food business. And I can see that this company, this type of food, is very much contributing to uh, Singapore's 30 by 30 goal. Solar Foods creates a new opportunity to produce food without agriculture. And the fundamental point is opening a window to the future. One of the best things is that people don't have to sacrifice the foods they know and love. We have a solution for it. We have hope. That's our message.